So hello everyone, it's Jeff Beauty 87 here and today we're going to get into a look with the Cara Beauty um, eyeshadow palettes. I don't know what the name of this collection is. My bad y'all, I didn't like look into it. I just saw like these two palettes here mainly and I got excited but the bundle was actually cheaper if you bought all three so I just went ahead and got this one as well. So this one will be going into a giveaway. We're going to start off doing a look with this Purple Haze palette. Then I will go in with the Girl Scout palette last. But like I said, this one is in the giveaway for you all so just stay tuned for that. Um... So, my girl, it's um, Glam Beauty XO. I believe I said all that right. Um, she had said that she felt like this was good alternative to the, um, what palette is that? The um, the first Norvina palette. And I was like, I thought it was more of a like dupe for the um, Jaclyn Hill palette. Because, as you can see, um, I brought it with me to, to um, do second chance video or something like that. But I just ended up not doing it. But, yeah, see. I feel like the color story towards this little corner over here is kind of similar to this palette right here. So we can compare both of them if you all want. I, I'm not going to be excited to do it, but if you want to see it, we can do it. Um, but I'm going to use this palette first today. I thought it looked nice, and then I can end the day on the palette that I was most excited about, which of course is the Girl Scout one. And when you see the inside, you'll, you'll know why I was excited about this palette. So, yeah, this is what the inside looks like. We already know why I was excited about it. It's blues, it's green, and then it's a little bit of yellow, and it has like cool... It has a cool bluish, like dual bluish under, like purple, I guess, base undertone, dual chrome, and like all, I mean, in both these palettes. And then lastly, we have the one that's going to be in the giveaway for you all, which is the Orange Pop palette. So y'all know I'm not really big on warm tones. So I didn't even take the sleeve out of this one. Um, This is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of that um, summer palette Kylie came out with a couple of years ago. The one called Go Bananas. That's what this palette gives me the vibes of. But anyway, it will be in the giveaway. So let me go ahead and close that back up before I accidentally nick my finger in it or something like that. Because I have been being super clumsy lazy this is, lately. This is the third time I had to like reshoot this whole part we're starting off with right now. Because the camera kept falling over because I forgot to bring my tripod. So that's why you all are at this angle as opposed to across like you normally are. But anyway... I'm going to get it started on this eye look. So, um, I was trying to figure out what exactly to do. I'm thinking about, um, either doing this color right here. It's called Baked. And then Indica. Or doing, like, Trap. Um, Bubba Kush. And then OG Kush. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to kind of just wing it. Or I might do each look on each eye. And then you all can tell me which one you like the best. So. I don't know, but the point is we need to get started. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take this um, e.l.f. crease brush. And I guess I will go into the color uh, Bubba Kush. So, go ahead and take that one. And just go ahead and use these blend rags. And I'm kind of, like I said, just winging it because I have no idea what I really want to do. So, I'm just randomly blending. I'm trying to pick colors as I go. Which, to me, is always a bad idea. I'm never, like, that good at doing it. So, I just end up, you know, I feel like looking crazy. But, I'm going to go ahead and blend that. It's blending quite nicely. It's pretty pigmented. And these didn't cost that much. I think they were, like... $18 a piece. I want to say they were $18 a piece. But don't quote me because I might have that pricing wrong. I'll try to remember to like actually be a professional beauty guru and put in the description box below how much this stuff costs and all that. But you know, I promise nothing right now. But yeah, see, it's giving off pretty decent pigmentation there. And I haven't, I think I dipped in maybe three times, which to me isn't that much. So the fact that it's doing that with only three dips, bravo. I think I want to take this color eyes low right here. And put that toward the front part. So I think we're going to do that instead of what I was talking about before. So let me find. I'll take this brush. This is the AOA Studio E136. It comes in the black um, brush set that costs $10. It mainly came with like face brushes. But I think I got like a few eye brushes in it too. So let me just kind of take this toward the front. 
and I'm trying to pat it down before I just start blending it out because it's lighter than the other color. So it's more like a I feel like a little a little lighter, but not like too much lighter than that color. And now we're just gonna go ahead and blend it out. So I'm trying to work the you know lightest to dark angle. So yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Now I think I'm gonna take that OG Kush color and put that as our outer V color today. So let me go back in a little more eyes low. Now, I'm not liking the eyes low color that much. I feel like it's not doing that great a job. Maybe I'll like it better when I go outside to take my Instagram pictures, but right now I'm not feeling it. If anybody's curious, it's on my lips. I just put on Ginger Snap by, um, what is it? Um, NYX. It's one of the butter glosses because I wasn't sure, like, what, how bright and how crazy the eye look was going to be. And I didn't want to try to, like, pair a lip with it to the end. But I didn't want to sit up here with dry lips. So I just put that on along with the Gone Burgundy lip liner. So that's what's going on here. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cut my crease before I put the shimmer on. I probably should just to be safe, especially since I've never tried anything from this brand. I don't know how well, like... The shimmer formulation is so let me find a brush to put shimmer on the lid. Where is it? This one. Where is it? This one. Yeah, I'll use. I brought my Juno and Co brushes over here because I wasn't really getting that much use with them at home since I have my other brushes I regularly use. So I figured it would work to bring them here. So, so far I'm liking the eye. Like I said, I don't necessarily like the front part, but you know it's already there. So what we're gonna do about it? We're just gonna leave it. So I'm gonna take the Juno and Co brush, the ones I premiered like a little while ago now i don't know when you all gonna see this video but hopefully a video has premiered before this one so you can get my first impression on the brushes i think we just gonna do one um i one palette per eye so then that way i don't have to like take off the eye and redo it or whatever because i'm doing a couple of wear tests and i don't want to have to like disturb the other makeup products because it's not fair to the wear test for those things so i'm thinking that's what i'm gonna do um where's that primer so i get the white wet and wild primer that i've been using and i'm gonna just use a little bit more of it to cut like close it to the crease right there so I'm tap a little bit right up in here and then the brush i use for that where is it this bh cosmetics bombshell brush number seven i'm just go ahead and pat up in this part up in here I feel like I went a little high, but they say that's how it's supposed to work, so I'm just going with it. Um, now I'm going to take the shimmer shade. What is it? Um, we're using the shade Trap, this one right here. So I'm going to use that. And I might mix in a little bit of incandescent toward the front and just use Trap toward the back. I kind of want to darken the outer V, though, so maybe I shouldn't cut the crease first because I said I was going to darken the outer V, so... Maybe, yeah, let's go ahead and darken the outer V and then I worry about coming back and if I have to cut it again for the lid, then so be it. Eh. I did not plan that well at all. Okay. Um, crap. I'm trying to find a brush that I feel like it worked to darken the outer V. Whatever, I'm just going to go ahead with this um, Luxie Mini Tapered Brush. Hopefully that works out. We're using the color OG Kush, this one at the bottom down here for the outer V. I hear pinks and purples are really hard to formulate, but I feel like they actually did a pretty good job with this palette, so bravo to you, ma'am and sir. And I'm just tapping it down to make sure I get as much pigmentation as I want before I start, like, blending it. I did blend a little bit just to start off at the edge to blend it with the other color, but I'm trying not to, like, do too much of that. As you can see, I'm just blending it in, blend, 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 blend it in, blend, blend, blend. And then I'm going to take that trap color on the outer part of the eye. And then in the inner part, we're going to take the Indica. I don't know why I feel so weird saying that, but like Indica. And, you know. Mm, okay, yeah, I'm liking this eye, y'all. Okay, Kara. I, 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 I might have to mess with you. I might have to mess with you, ma'am. You might be one of my affordable brands now. Okay, hold on. Is anybody else excited about the um, Give Me Glow new palette that's coming out? Even though, you know, everybody can't necessarily get it. I feel like it's still exciting to see, like, new stuff coming out and see brands are coming up with. 
Okay, so this isn't picking up that well on this brush. So I'm like, am I going to have to spray it and then put it on? I'm starting to wonder. So that's what it's looking like now that I've put it off. Let's see. Okay, now we ain't have to do that. I guess you just have to like dig into it and then put it on. Because as you can see, I didn't have to like spray this brush or do anything to it. So you just have to, I guess, get the top layer situation handled and then. But it's like flaking off when I rub into it. See y'all? Like it's fell all the way down there. So I don't know what that's about. I'm starting to think maybe it's like one of those you supposed to put on with your finger. But I mean, everybody doesn't want to put on shadow with their finger. I don't necessarily mind because I'm not a girl who wears nails. But you know, some girls do wear nails. And like that's really inconvenient if you expect them to be able to stick their nail into the palette and get the product out. So that might not necessarily be a good thing. So you girls with nails, you, I don't know how y'all going to feel about it. This shade I'm putting on because, you know, you have nails. And it's crumbling everywhere. And I got a feeling I'm going to have to wipe this stuff off my face because it's falling all over. So I'm going to try it with my finger. Let me see. I usually take my ring finger, so I'm going to try it with that one. So it's giving this nice little simple incandescent vibe to it. But yeah, see, it's going way better. Now I'm using my finger, so you might just want to use your finger. I don't know. It's up to you. With shades like this, I usually like to put them on top of a mat or put them in the inner corner just because I feel like they don't... Oh, crap. Look at that glow, y'all. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay. And this is what the color looks like right here. Swatch. I'm sorry. I got a whole bunch of swatches on my hand from early when I was doing a video. Um, Now, I'm going to just turn the brush to the other side, this clean side, and take the Indica shade and put it on the front of the eye. So... I'm going to start off with a brush just like I did the last time. Just to get through that layer, that first layer of stuff. And then just... But I'm definitely, definitely feeling the shimmers in this palette. Like, I feel like they're going to be great toppers on top of these um, shades. Let me take the brush I originally started off with to blend toward the front. And just blend all that to get rid of the harsh lines and whatnot. I'm going to put a little bit more of that color eyes low on it. And just... Kind of dust it in so we can kind of blend them together and make it look a little more nice. Me, yeah, I'm actually kind of feeling this um, palette. It's kind of a vibe, y'all. Yeah. It's kind of a vibe, I must say. And then I'm going to take the color Bubble Kush that we started off with and blend that toward like the middle part. And then kind of stop there because we don't want to disturb the purple that's um, toward the back. So I'm just take Bubble Kush, a tap a little bit more and then just go toward the middle. So the shimmers aren't so like harsh and pow because you can clearly see where I had cut the crease when I had did it originally before I started blending all this. And then I'm going to take that brush we started off with with um, the Juno and Co. just to blend everything together and blend everything together with that. And then we'll be done with this side of the eye and then we can go into the other eye with the Girl Scout palette. So but I'm definitely feeling this eye like honey yes. But this is what the finished eye look looks like with the purple haze palettes. Now we're going to go in with the Girl Scout palette. I'll put these brushes to the side so I don't get confused on which ones I use. Okay, so Girl Scout palette. Super excited about this one. Like, y'all just don't even understand. So, um, I, like I showed y'all, this is what I look like. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But again, I think I'm going to just wing it. Um... Of course, I want to use the dual chromey shade in here, but I think I want to mix it with a shimmer this time. So I think I'm going to put this color Clear Eyes over Chronic or I'll put it over Stoner. I think we're probably most likely going to put it over Stoner and then I'll use like um, probably the weed color mix with Mary Jane in the crease. And then I'll, I might use Kush and um, take it on the outer V or something. So. I don't know. I'ma just, you know, wing it like I always do. So let's go ahead and get started so I can wing it. Um <laughs> okay, let's see. Um I think I have another crease brush by um one of these people. Um Yeah, there's my other crease brush by Elf. So I'm gonna start off with that one and I'm gonna go in with the color. Um I think I'm gonna just take weed all over the crease mixed with Mary Jane and do that. So we're gonna take Weed and Mary Jane mix those together and um, put them in the crease. Or I, might, or I might just start off with weed on the back and then put Mary Jane in the front like I did on this other eye. I'm thinking we're going to do that. Let's Yeah, let's just do that. So, 
Start off with the color weave. Okay. Okay, so I see with this one I had to pat it in because it's it's feeling kind of hard. When I dust this um, brush into the pan, I don't know if this one got pressed too hard or what, but like I'm digging and digging and digging just to get the pigmentation you're seeing right now. So I'm not necessarily feeling the green palette so far, just based off having to start off with it that way. It looks like I'm definitely going to have to build it up. So I'm kind of disappointed this one just off the bat because I feel like the purple one did so much of a better job when I like went to go blend out that mauve looking shade and now... I'm having to like build and build and build in order to get this one to look the way I wanted to. So that's a little disappointing, but you know. Mm. Hopefully it'll get better, we'll see. Like we started off so good and then the one that was my favorite we're having issues with. So once you get it built up, it, it looks nice. It's just, you know, you're going to have to build it up. So just be prepared for that. When it comes to this Girl Scout palette, you're going to have to build the green up. And y'all saw I used a nice um, matte base. I don't know if it's because I've waited so long and my base isn't wet anymore. And that's why it's not grab, it didn't grab as well when I first started. Maybe that could be it as well. Now we're going to take this color Mary Jane right here and put that toward the other front part of my f um, eye. And I'm using the Detail Crease Brush by, what is this brand? Um... I mean by um elf yeah so i'm just lightly patting that and i know this one's definitely gonna take way more to put on than um the other one did because this one is much lighter and due to the way my skin tone is set up um yeah i'm about to be looking crazy out in these streets y'all because i don't plan on doing any other eye looks today so i'm just be out here looking crazy um when i go home and when i come back tonight people gonna be like what's wrong with the woman's ass when I'm at the grocery store, it's just like, what's wrong with them? But yeah, so they blend together nicely, as you can see. They look nice. They look fine. I know it looks crazy right now. Y'all know how it is. You have to, like, wait to the very end, and then it'll, like, start looking halfway decent. So, okay, now I want to see if we don't cut the crease, if it's going to make a difference. So I'm not going to cut the crease with this eye, although I feel like I should just go ahead and do it, especially since we had difficulties with the um, mattes. I'm feeling like I might have difficulty with the shimmers. But since I feel like since it's such a um, dark shimmer, I feel like I should be able to get away with it. So I'm going to just... Follow my first mind and just not cut the crease. Because at the end of the day, it's a pretty dark color. So I feel like we should be able to pull it off. So let's just. So as you can see, I'm mapping it out like I would with the cut crease. I'm just doing it with the actual shimmer shade itself. That's personally what I like to do when I'm feeling like lazy. It's like you want to have a pretty detailed, nice look, but you don't have time to be doing all the intricate stuff like cutting creases this is what i do i just take the shimmer and cut the crease as you can see it's turning out just fine so this is the first shimmer shade we use as a true shimmer it's not like a topper situation because the other palette i used two toppers so i wanted to make sure i use the plain shimmer in this palette so we can see how the shimmers perform as well as the mattes now i don't like the way the green mattes i use in this palette perform but you know that's cool I need to go in. I forgot to use the blue shade I said I was going to use in the outer V. So I might go in with that one right now. And then we can put the um, topper shade on top. Because I want uh, the outer V to be darkened up a little bit. Especially because this eye is so bright. I feel like I need to bring a little bit of depth back to it if you will. So we're going to take... Y'all struggle since I don't have like the brushes I normally use and stuff like this here. I'm like crap. I'm going to take what brush? What brush am I going to take? I don't even know. So... I'm going to go ahead and take this Luxie mini angled brush and try to do the outer view with that. And like I said, we said we we're going to take this take it color and put that in the outer view. So let's see how that's about to work. So. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm liking the way that's um, working out. So. I was nervous because I was using a brush I don't normally use, but it's actually turning out pretty nice. And it's giving me that depth that I was looking for that I wanted. So, yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely here for it. It's definitely a vibe, yeah. Like, okay. I might have redeemed himself with this, like, 
blue shades for the outer V because it's definitely doing a good job of giving me the um you know depth and definition I want to with this eye look. Because when I first started off with this palette, I was like, oh. But like I said, I think it's because I let the base um dry while I was doing the other one. I should have just did one eye at a time. But I planned on doing both eyes as I went, but then I was like, I don't want to have to like redo the palette. But look at that depth, y'all. That looks really nice. I'm definitely here for this. Definitely vibe. Okay, so we're gonna take the um the shade Clear Eyes and we're gonna put that on top of the um stoner shade that I just put on. So I'm gonna just take my finger and do it real quick. Just to see how it look. Look at that. Yes. Okay, yes. I'm here for it. Okay, so those two colors helped redeem my opinion on this palette. Because at first I was like, but the mattes ain't doing that great. But these shimmers are definitely making up for it. As I look at magnificent, y'all. This is magnificent. So I'm probably going to go back. And this is the color it made when I mixed those the stoner and the um, clear eyes color together that is a gorgeous color like look at that y'all that's gorgeous i'm gonna go back in with the um brush i use for the outer v just to like redeepen that whole area up i didn't add any of the project product i'm just kind of like blending it i don't feel like i really need to add any more product i just want that depth to still be seen even though i did that okay yeah okay so it has been redeemed with those two colors i'm definitely here for it I'm taking a tapered blending brush from um, Sigma. I'm just going ahead and blending all of this out. Only thing that sucks is about both of these palettes, I didn't really see any brown outer V um, color to, you know, not mean brown color for you to dust over this so it doesn't look so harsh at the top. So I'm going to have to take that from another palette. So let's see. Is there one in this palette I just overlooked it? Like, no, there aren't any colors. They're pretty true to colors, so... I'm going to take, what is this? I'm going to take this Mastery Pro, uh, sorry, Pro Mastery Eyeshadow Palette by um, LA Colors, I mean LA Girl. And I'm going to take this brown shade right here and just dust it over both sides so we can have like, you know, it, both these looks kind of subtle down a little bit, especially since they two different eye colors. I'll be already out here looking crazy when you look super crazy, so let me. Just reevaluate my life really quickly and calm these colors the hell down. But yeah, I would definitely recommend that you try out this brand. I am totally, totally feeling these um I look situation deal vibes. Um if I had to pick an eye though, believe it or not, I'd pick the one I had to struggle with the most, which is the blues and greens and purples. I just feel like it looks a little better. Now, maybe if I had mixed both of those shimmers together, I would like, you know, this eye just as much. And it's not that the eye looked bad, because this one was way easier to do the pink and purple one. I just like the way the dual chrome looks and the blue and green one and the um, darkness in the outer V a little better. But y'all know I'm more of a smoky girl, so maybe if I had put the darker purple on this one, I'd like them equally. So... Lower lash line. What do y'all think we should do? Let's see. I know my boyfriend's down, so I was like, ma'am, will you hurry the hell up? <laughs> um, hmm. So when it comes to this eye, I'm thinking we should go in that that darkest shade match up and just run that down the lower lash line real quick. But I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this color, like I said, match up that one right there, put that on the lower lash line, and then um, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do in the inner corner, like which shimmer we're going to put in the inner corner. Cause I'm thinking about just doing the one that's already there in Decca and just putting that there since it's already there. And I'm gonna take the plum liner from Persona Cosmetic and put that in my waterline to help amplify the smokiness of this look. Better. And I try to drag it kind of low because I have creases under my eyes, as you all know. So I try to make sure that I bring my lower lash line down lower so I can just blow it out with a um, brush. And then you can't, it won't be as prominent that my um, eyes are, um, well, you know, have that situation going on. So I'm going to take the brush that we use the brown on to, um, what do you call it, uh, soften the eyeshadow at the top and 
Be there for quick so open. Okay, and like I said, for the inner corner in this eye, we are going to use. Let me see. We're just gonna go on with this one incandesa and just add more to the inner corner. Okay, that works. Now we're gonna go in with the Girl Scout palette and do the inner corner. So I'm thinking we can use this yellow shade Chronic so that way we use all the shimmers in here. So we're gonna use that in the inner corner, but for the lower lash line, we are going to, you see, I'm trying to find a brush for the lower lash line. Y'all, I have so many brushes I need to wash here and I don't ever have to wash brushes here because it's about to be a nightmare. Um, Let's just take this brush right here and what color do y'all want to put on the lower lash line? Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking we do this puff puff color since we have the navy blue in the um, outer V. We can use the darker green on the lower lash line to smoke it out some more. Because y'all know I love me a smoky look. So let's go ahead and... Okay, y'all, so let's just take that same brush that had the brown on it and brush on this lower lash line. And then in this waterline, I'm going to put a blue liner in it. So I'm going to take the LA Girl um, one from the um, video comparing this to the Rihanna one and just put that in the waterline real quick. So hold on. Yes, we got that in there. Now I need to take the plum liner from Persona Cosmetics. This one right here. And I'm going to put this in the waterline for this eye. I don't want to just play up the smokiness of the color that we put on the lower lash line. So yeah, so this is the finished eye look using both the purple haze and girl scout palettes so i actually really like both these palettes i love the duo chromes and this girl scout one and the fact that it has more shimmers because if you all notice in the purple haze there was only like those two dual chromes there are no shimmers these are like pressed glitters i'm not a pressed glitter person so of course i'm not happy about the pressed glitters however i feel like there might be a little bit of inconsistency when it comes to formulas. Like I said, maybe because this eye was wet and this one is dry. So I'm going to have to try it again when I make these videos for Instagram. But um, I like both the palettes. I think they're definitely worth the price that I paid for them. Um, And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.